Oh, right. Yeah. Before we start this, this kind of has a weird... Because this come up on my YouTube. And to be honest, it was Dame Edna first. I was thinking, I remember Dame. Like, I haven't... You know when, like, some all of a sudden, like... You're just reminded of something. But I would have been well little. But I remember everybody used to love her. And... Yeah, I think she's hilarious. I was thinking, is she... She's not Paul O'Grady's one. Is she? Is she? Paul O'Grady's hilarious as well. But yeah, I can't remember whether he's her or a different one. But that's hilarious as well. But that's what I mean. I haven't thought about Dame Edna. Like, because I, I would have been like well little when she would have been on telly. But as soon as I saw it, it just, yeah. But then she's, it came up obviously because we started doing Katie Lang. And so YouTube suggests me things and this come up. But then I checked my spam because someone sent me an email and I can't find it now. So I was just like checking, seeing if it had gone into my spam for some reason. And I saw this from Nancy. Nancy, who's like, yeah, normally requests like Joe, the Joe Bonamassa. And I just see it and she said it as well. So I thought the fact that, yeah. I saw it yesterday. I think she sent it to me four days ago, but it just went into my spam. I don't know why. Um, and I just happened to find it, and I thought that's got to be enough of a coincidence to do it. But this is going to take me way back. Like I say, this was like a proper... Because this is... She's hilarious. Right? Hilarious. But yeah, anyway. Enough waffling. KD Lang interview on... Dame Edna, let's go. I have had a constant craving to have a little chat with her for a long time now. Please welcome K.D. Lang. I, I brought you something from my homeland of Canada, a uh, golden beer mug for your for your yeah. anniversary. Is there any maple syrup in it or anything? <laughs> Not yet, a they're, little they're residue. By, yeah. Well, it's a horrible thing, but it's the thought that counts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we are. Thank Lovely. you. You call me Ed. Now, what do I call you? KD? KD will be fine, yeah. <laughs> I call you yeah. KD. Yeah. You're very chic. You're very appealing. <laughs> I get a lovely vibe from you already. What does KD stand for? Catherine Dawn. Catherine yes, Dawn. Yes, yes. You know, it must be wonderful to write a song like, like Constant Craving, for example. I've watched the video of that, and it's interspersed with tramps doing things. You remember that video? <laughs> Who are they? What's that? Yeah, just Los Angeles tramps. They're just Los yeah. Angeles tramps doing quirky doing things? Doing trampy and quirky <laughs> things, yes. Actually it was actually it was the director's idea to sort of um, emulate waiting for Godot. <laughs> really? Yeah. And, and what's that got to do with constant craving? I don't know. <laughs> Nothing really. That's probably why we haven't heard much of that director <laughs> since <laughs> No, as a matter of fact it's a lovely video and it's a great number, but you've done duets with Tony Bennett. Yes. More recently. Yes. He was a heartthrob of yesteryear. He's a gorgeous <laughs> person. I've met him several times. Yeah, gentleman. Those recordings are beautiful. Now, was he always a gentleman with you? Always. He didn't cross the line at any point, <laughs> did he? He didn't put his hand on the wrong knee by any chance, did he, KD? Not that I remember, no, I'm I had no. Very glad. Perhaps in a gap in the recording, he might have done something naughty. But then. <laughs> He is a bit too old for that type of thing, isn't he, dear old Tony? You like to pamper yourself a bit, as I do. There's a famous picture, KD, of you, which was on the cover, I think, of Vanity Fair, with Cindy Crawford. Now, I want to have a look at that. Yeah. That is Cindy <laughs> Crawford shaving, or pretending to shave you. Remember that? Yes, I do remember that. A bit spooky. Did you ever regret that? I like the picture. It's I never regretted that, no. 
You're like me. I don't think you regret much at all, Kate. No, <laughs> I, I didn't regret that one. You know, Cindy came here. She wanted to shave me, Ivana. Oh, well, you... well, well, well. <laughs> and then she tried to give my daughter Valma a Brazilian, but I'm afraid she... <laughs> <laughs> she was a bit heavy-handed there. <laughs> well, it's sort of playing gender games, aren't they? My daughter talks about it all the time. I wonder whether I should play gender games. What do I have to do? Stand up? Stand up at the toilet or something? <laughs> I don't think I'd make a very convincing man, Katie. I don't think I would. No, no way. I don't think so. No, no way. No. I think there's too much fuss about this gender business. It's, I mean, there are whole articles, women's magazines, full of it. It's a sort of fad, really. I think women might be too liberated. You do? Well, do you get that feeling? Yes. I'm, I think so. It's all overdone. Definitely. I, I think we are liberated. I, I, Look at us. Yes, I, I don't think we need to liberate anyone. Here we are, three very liberated women yeah. chatting away <laughs> like this. I'm going to be a bit liberated now. Yeah. I'm going to talk about something personal. This could offend people. <laughs> I never want to run away from confrontations. My son, Kenny, who made this design, this beautiful, beautiful dress. Beautiful. Well, beautiful. He, made, he, he made some decisions, KD, and I embraced them as far as it was possible for me to do so. Well, you're a liberal, loving woman, I is what am, you are. I am, darling. I am. I surrender to the love in my heart. And... <laughs> I don't think there's anything that two intelligent women cannot discuss. There's no taboo. I make no apologies for the words, for the terminology, perhaps the coarse terminology that I'm going to use now. <laughs> when... When did you first know you were Canadian? When... <laughs> if I said I prefer you to Donald Sutherland, Margaret Atwood and Leonard Cohen rolled into one? <laughs> because they do often roll into one, I don't know. <laughs> would you say you were proudly Canadian? Yes, yes, you I are. would, yeah. Well, there's still a few diehards, you know, who are shocked <laughs> when you come out proudly flaunting your national emblems. That's you know? true. <laughs> your maple leaf, your mountie, your beaver. Yeah. <laughs> Translation, Ivana. It does. <laughs> I accept you. I got it. Okay. I accept you I as a gorgeous all. Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a proud Australian. And I think more people would be happier and more fulfilled if they embraced their inner Canadian. I think they yes, would. I, I think so. Have you ever expressed I your Canadianness so. in music? Have you ever written a patriotic song? No. <laughs> That's around. Oh, yes, I have. Big Bone Gal from southern Alberta. Yes, I have. Big Bone Gal. From... I love that area, <laughs> by the way. I know Alberta, yeah. and it's so gorgeous. It's one of the great places mm -hmm. in the world, by the way, Varna. You must go there. <laughs> you said... <laughs> you said once you were trying to make art that your mother would like. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's funny, because we all do that. We all still feel obliged to please our parents all our life long. Is your, your mother... mother proud of you? Well, my mother is in a maximum security... <laughs> <laughs> a maximum security twilight home. <laughs> it's very hard to know. And she was a little bit inhibiting, she was, but still we have that urge, don't we? Yeah. Are your parents with us? Your mother, I think, My is. My mom is, yes. And is she very proud of you, Ivana? She definitely is. Well, I bet she is, <laughs> you darling. Are your parents still with us? Yes. They are. Yep. Is there anything about you that they disapprove of? 
<laughs> my mother wasn't very fond of the Vanity Fair cover. She wasn't. No. Isn't it extraordinary? How yeah. did she express it? She said, She's, oh. Every time I brought it up, she would go, oh, I don't want to talk about that, Catherine. <laughs> it's funny, you sort of laugh about it, but it stabs you. Oh, little. definitely. Yeah. I find it yeah. does, that mm -hmm. parental disapproval. I'll speak to her about that cover. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I will, because yeah. a call from me. She would be, she, first she would be flabbergasted, and then she, then I'm sure you could totally change her mind. I would, I can turn that woman around, yeah. I can. <laughs> but possums, more with KD and Ivana after this interlude. <laughs> And welcome back, KD. I'm going to break with my usual protocol. Valme, it's your big moment now. You've got a little question for KD, haven't you? What is it, darling? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> KD, would you like it if I... Valme, please, <laughs> this is a family show. Now, that will... <laughs> not us. Looks like a gift. Oh, look, KD. A free voucher admits two to a dry stone walling weekend for two in the Quantocks. What happens there? I hate to think, Valma. <laughs> we can consider that later. I'll, I'll talk to you after the show. <laughs> oh, no. Please, Kate. She's lovely, your daughter. She's inside. Yes. Well, I think we're going to be doing a little duet later, KD. In yeah. fact, I happen to know we are. I'm excited about it. I'm very excited about it, and you will adore it. Uh, in the meantime, thank you, Catherine thank you. Dawn thank Lang. You, thank you. And Parsons, it pains me. The funny thing is, yeah, is that is exactly like British nuns. That is exactly like, it. yeah. Yeah, that is hilarious. I was thinking as well, because she got that. She got the whole thing. And Eng English humour is kind of, not everybody gets it. Like, it's not, yeah. But in the in the Queen documentary, the uh, I want to break free video, how America didn't get it, and they say it's because like it's a spoof of Coronation Street and the kind of working class mother, um, which if you're English, you see the setting of the video and what they're doing, washing up and hoovering and whatever. And you instantly get it. But for an American, they don't have the same association. But then the mate he said, but I'm Canadian, so I've got it. Now, why is it that Canadians... Yeah. Because she got it instantly when she said, <laughs> I don't think women need to be liberated, do they? <laughs> and she's like... No. <laughs> oh, she just got it instantly. And also, she worked out that you're going on the show to be interviewed. The show's about her and kind of, yeah. She worked that out very quick and, and worked out to kind of play to the thing. Did you... When was it you realised that you was a Canadian? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was thinking as well, you just don't have TV like that anymore. Because I was thinking this would have been around the time of Shooting Stars. I, I used to love Shooting Stars. Shooting Stars is so funny. In fact, I might even try and find them and start doing some of them because they are, uh, well, I've watched them since I was little, but they would have been like, tell you back then, would have, was so much better. Do you know what I mean? You think of some of the jokes that 
Dai Medna did in this and some of the topics she kind of brought up where you just wouldn't be able to bring that up now. Is your mother proud of you? She's in a maximum security nursing home, so it's it's very hard to tell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was jokes. That was jokes. And I have to say, do I call you Kate? That that's what I mean, something like that. That's just so British nan. So do I call you K D love? <laughs> What is your name? Catherine Dawn. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Proper got it down. But yeah. Anyway. That was hilarious. But yeah. That's the reaction. Sweet. 